Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you all are doing great welcome to your channel my d one to scientific academy today our lecture is related to chapter 13 which is asymmetry and I'm going to explain you exercise 13 a question number 5 question number 5 is copy the following diagrams and make each of them symmetrical about the dotted line so I have to basically complete the diagram but in the way that the other part should be the reflection of this part the other part is symmetrical to this part okay so it means that this part should be on uh, this part should be on the other side okay with same length and same shape okay so here you can see that this is going like this to this so in the same way i'll move it like this i will draw it like this to this and as you can see that I have completed this diagram in the way that this part is symmetrical to this part. Okay, same part, same shape. Now I'll draw the same shape on the other side because the other side shape is symmetrical to, the other part is symmetrical to this, is the reflection of this part and is symmetrical to this part. So let's draw it. As you can see that first it's go down, then like this, then like this. And this should be a straight line. Okay, come to this part. As you can see that it's an it's a half circle on the above side. So I'll draw a half circle in the lower side to make it complete. Now the same I will draw the same shape to this side as it's going like this. So I'll go like this. Okay, and then like this. As you can see that now. A little bit curved it's a curve as you can see that this part is a reflection of this part and both parts are symmetrical now now here in this figure there are two things okay here first I'll complete this by drawing its symmetrical part to this side to the right hand side and I will draw the symmetrical part of this side to the left hand side like this now you can see that it's a it looks like it yes now this first i'll okay first it's going upward so i'll move upward and then like this and then downward okay i have completed this like this now see straight then there is a curve over here it's moving upward then i'll draw the curve it's, it will move downward why because you know that the other part is the reflection of this part Okay, this part. Okay, so it is like this, a little bit this dash like this. Then it's going downward. I'll go downward. It's moving backward. I'll move backward. Then this, then this, then this, and then this. Okay, and there is a rectangle inside it. So I'm going to draw a rectangle inside it. And now this part is symmetrical to this part. This part is a flexion of this part. Now this, as you can see that it is like this. So I'll draw the same part like this. Then moving downward. Then yes, like this. Now it's a sort of eight again. Like this. This part I will draw first like this. And then this. Like this. And in between you can see that it's like this. So this is how you have to complete the diagram by drawing the symmetrical parts. Alright, I hope that uh, now this part is clear to you. Moving forward to the next question. Next question is complete each of the following diagrams to make it symmetrical about the dotted line. So now you can see that we have to uh, make it uh, symmetrical. Okay, we have to complete the diagram to make it symmetrical about the dotted line. Remember that whenever you are having a straight dotted line, okay, whenever you are having a straight dotted line, so the image would be uh, would always be same, just direction would be different. Okay, the other uh, the reflected image, for example, I'm going to draw its reflected image over here, so its direction would be different. So this is the point. So it means that here, this point I will draw over here. Okay, as there is no gap, 
from this point to this uh, uh, mirror line so I will give no gap okay when I will draw the reflected image I will not give any gap so this point is here now can you see this line now how many boxes it is taking it is taking one two three four five boxes so I'll take also five boxes and I will draw a slanted line over here as it is moving to this direction but when I will draw the reflected image I will move it to the to this direction like this like this okay now let's come to this line and this is taking one two three boxes so i'll take three boxes and i'll move towards in because i have to draw a reflected image okay so one two three one two three now i will join this line with this point and this is how i will get the reflected image i hope that it's clear to you let me tell you again how did i draw it Remember that whenever you are having a straight mirror line, when you will draw its a when you will draw its reflected image. So how would you draw it uh, in the way that just um, direction would be different, but you have to draw the same shape. And when uh, you are going to draw it in the graph paper, you just need to count the boxes of the original image. As you can see that it is there are one, two, three, four, five box boxes. So from this point to this point, I have drawn the line of five boxes. Then it is taking one, two, three boxes. So I'll draw the line of three boxes, one, two, three. And then I will join this point to this point to get the reflected image. And this line would be same to this line, okay? It would be, it would be equal in length. All right, and uh, now let's move forward to the next part. Again, it's a straight horizontal line. And when you will draw a reflected image, you will draw the same Im image. Just a uh, direction would be different as it is moving upward so but when you will draw the reflected image it will move downward and how many boxes it is taking one two three four five uh, one two three four five six okay so i'll take the same number of boxes and i will draw this line downward one two three four five six okay i will draw a straight line like this Now, I'm, I'm just taking this part. Okay? Can you see this part? I'm just taking this part. I'm going to draw the reflected image of just this part. So, this is um, like this now. So, I'll just change the direction. And it is like this. So, when I will draw it, uh, the reflected image, it would be like this. Okay. And how many boxes it is taking? It is taking this. Because when I will draw the, how many boxes it is taking? It is taking one, two, three, four, five, six. So, same six boxes would end over here. So, now I'm going to draw it. Okay, now I have drawn the reflected image of this part and now you can see that this is a triangle. Okay, this is an equilateral triangle and I have completed it now it's symmetrical. Now let's draw the symmetrical um, part of this and now draw the symmetrical figure of this part and you can see that it's half oval. So I'll draw a half oval downward. I'll just count the number of boxes from where I have to turn it. One, two, three, four. So one, one, two, three, four. I'll turn it from here. Now, as you can see that I have drawn it and it's an oval. Okay. Remember that whenever you draw the reflected image, the direction would be different when it's a straight horizontal line. Now, I'm going to take this part. This part. First, I will draw a straight line. It is taking a one, two, three boxes. So, I will draw three boxes here. One, two, three. Students, remember that whenever you will draw the symmetrical part or reflected image, length, size should be same. So how can you make the size same by just number that by just counting the number of boxes? One, two, three. Okay, gee. so one, two, three, and it is slanted line. So I'm going to draw a slanted line like this. Now this is how you have to complete uh, this figure and not symmetrical. As you can see that this is a triangle, this is oval, and this is also small triangle. Actually, now in this case is different. In C part, uh, you can see that uh, um, how different because in C part, you can see that a mirror line is not uh, vertically straight or a horizontal straight. It's uh, like this, okay? It is like this. So whenever you're having a mirror line like this, always remember that when you will draw its reflected image or symmetrical part, remember that if the line is horizontal, you will make it vertical. And if it is vertical, you will make it horizontal. So now you can see that this is a horizontal line. This is a horizontal line. As you can see that the mirror line is like this. Okay. It's starting from the region. So it is like this. 
and it's not a straight vertical line or straight horizontal line. So in this case, the vertical line will become horizontal line and a horizontal line will become vertical line. Let's talk about this line. This is a horizontal line. So when I will draw its reflected image, the symmetrical part, um, so it will be a vertical line. Okay, how many boxes it's taking? As I, I have told you that the reflected image should be of the same size so I'm going to draw it now. One, two, three, four, five. It is taking five boxes. So I'll draw five boxes from here till here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now this line, this is a vertical line. When I will draw it, it will be horizontal. So one, two. So I will draw it to one, two. Now this line. Uh, it is a one, two, three, four, five boxes. So I'll draw it to five boxes like this. Now this is a vertical line. When I'll draw it, it will become horizontal. You can count the number of boxes. Definitely it is going to end, uh, it is going to touch this point because it, it will be completed when it will touch this point. And you can count the number of boxes as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so this is how you have to draw its symmetrical. As you can see that now this whole figure is symmetrical. And here you can see that this whole figure is also symmetrical. And now in this part, this whole figure is also symmetrical.